the first qualifier of the year is always a little bit special, particularly this time for Neil McKinnon. The defending champion took his place alongside 130 other hopeful anglers in glorious sunshine at Viaduct Fishery. So Neil, here we go again. How's your year been as defending champion? It's been a fantastic year really. I mean, since the, uh, since the final, first couple of months after that, it took a while to settle in and lots of people coming and congratulating you and I've uh, enjoyed you know, little kids coming up to you and saying, can you, can you show me what to do? Can you give me an hand? And I've, I've really enjoyed that actually. The atmosphere in these is always terrific and to get everybody together on the first one it's just it's a brilliant buzz isn't it? Yeah it is, the first one is a real buzz, there's quite a few past winners here, past finalists, uh, real quality anglers and it'll, it will be a great day today. So where would the winner come from? Kieran Rich and Mark Tullett were making plans for Campbell or Carey Lake but the draw would decide who got to fish where. which has won the last few matches at Viaduct was 1-1-4 on Campbell Lake. The lucky man who got it was Rob Brennan. Now then Rob, always a sickening feeling when you pull the flyer out isn't it? <laughs> How are you doing? i um, nervous. I've never ever been here before in my life. So, new experience. Um, they tell me I'm on a very, very good peg. Uh, won last Saturday, um, so we'll give it a go. Alongside all the former winners and finalists, there are always new faces. Anglers like Geraint Powell, who was in his first ever qualifier. The last time we saw him on tight lines, it was as a young angler of the month. How did you sleep last night? Um, <laughs> <laughs> didn't have a lot of sleep. Um, Nerves, excitement, so kept waking up. Uh, I got enough sleep to fish well today. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. The smart money was on anglers catching shallow with high pressure and bright sunshine, but there was very little breeze. It was the man in pink, Grant Albert, drawn on peg 80 of Carey Lake, who got things underway with the first fish. Over on Spring Lake, pellet waggler tactics were a popular option. There were carp cruising on the surface, and some of them were very big fish. Dave Roberts, another former finalist, was working hard to try and get the fish feeding. He was heading towards a section win, but it would be a long afternoon for him. On the opposite side of spring was John Arthur. He was the man who sat behind Neil McKinnon in last year's final, playing a key role in that victory. The signs were good for John as he caught on the feeder early in the match. On Carey Lake, pegs 85 and 86 are always a good draw. Tim Dobrova from Cambridge was making the most of 86. The key is to keep the bites coming and to make sure you land the fish when you hook them. On Campbell Lake, with the gathering breeze blowing directly into peg 127, was Kieran Rich. A finalist last year, he was determined for another crack at Cudmore. He had a slow start and the fish on Campbell seemed to be smaller than those on the other lakes. But there were plenty of carp being caught all over the complex. Northeasterly breeze may have stopped Rob Brennan from making it another win from Peg 114, blowing all of the fish to the other side of Campbell. He was catching, but not regularly enough to compete. Those fish seem to be split between the two anglers on the opposite bank, Kieran Rich on 127, and Alex Bones next door on 128. The defending champion wasn't having a good day. Neil McKinnon knew at the draw he was going to struggle this time. The battle was developing elsewhere. 
Grant Albert's recent form at Viaduct suggested he was a real threat. He was starting to catch regularly as he switched between Waggler and straight lead. It was a tense match, with around a dozen anglers all close to each other. All except one. Back on Spring Lake and there were rumours that John Arthur was catching better than anyone. He was fishing shallow, trying to intercept those cruising fish. And they were all like this one. Absolute monsters. At the final hooter there was an air of anticipation at Viaduct. Grant Albert's match had ended in style. A superb net of carp weighing 145 pounds and 7 ounces enough to win a qualifier at almost any other venue. Back on Spring Lake and the big fish had been feeding. This 18-pounder was snared by Andrew Neal with his first put-in of the day. But next door, on peg five, was John Arthur. John, rumours you've had a good day. I've had a brilliant day, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable, really. So I've hardly fed a thing. I've just fished for cruisers all day, so I've had quite a few double-figure carp. Possibly my best ever fish. Uh, I've had to put a bigger landing net on after two fish. It's been frightening. <laughs> That's a pretty good sign, though, isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been brilliant. No, I've got loads of fish, but they've just been massive. So. Come on, what, you know what match <laughs> anglers are like. What are you admitting to? 130. 130. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Depends. You could put saddles on some of them fish, they're that big. <laughs> So, time to see the scores on the doors. Would he sneak past Grant's £147? The scales were loaded and reloaded eight times. John's catch was only 18 fish, but they were so massive they were split into four keep nets. His smallest carp was easily into double figures. The biggest was a mammoth £24. The total a mind-blowing 252 pounds, 11 ounces. A new record for a Fisho qualifier. Can I just say, that's the worst estimate of 130 pounds <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. 250 pounds. <laughs> uh, yeah, they've been a bit bigger than I thought. <laughs> and I've lost count. So. I'll never trust a match angler again. Well done, mate, well done. That's a phenomenal Cheers. achievement. They're big fish, John. Some crocodiles there, weren't they? <laughs> so, Messrs McKinnon and Arthur were together again for the big announcement. Maybe they'll be working as a team for the final two. Fantastic. I'm really pleased for John. Really pleased. He's uh, fished a great match. How can anybody have 18 fish for £250 and his little ones weighing about £15 and £16 each? Unbelievable. Um, I'm really pleased for him. Uh, he's already said, will I sit behind him? I said, only if I don't make it on the other six chances. But... Yeah, I'll be really pleased to sit behind John. If I don't qualify, more than happy. Dead shot. There's not much you can say after a performance like that, is there really? An amazing day, fantastic weather. It's like midsummer down here in Somerset. John Arthur, £252, 11 ounces, a new Fishermania record. And here's something else to bear in mind. Today, there were 10 weights in that match, over £100. Absolutely fantastic. One down, 15 to go.